let's go ahead and let's get into this review. It's tall back here. All right, guys, this is the 2023 Chevy Tahoe Premier. This has pretty much every single option that you could want or want inside of your Chevy Tahoe or Suburban. This one happens to have a price of just about $95,000. So we're gonna go ahead and get into review on this truck and see why it costs that much. First of all, I wanna start this video off by giving a big shout out to Millennium of Chevy for letting me use this truck today and go over it. If you wanna check out this truck, go ahead and look at the link in my description below to check it out. And if you wanna see their dealership and what other awesome cars they have in there, go ahead and feel free to take a look at that as well. So let's go ahead and let's get into the review on this awesome truck. So starting off with the Chevy Tahoe and the Suburban in this case, because they essentially are identical trucks. One is just a little bit longer being a Suburban compared to its smaller or younger brother, the Tahoe. They've been around for a very long time and have kind of reigned and ruled upon the larger SUV market for a long time. However, in the last couple of years, I would say they've really started pushing their game into the luxury kind of market. So starting off on this Tahoe, you can see it has this beautiful white color. It is a pearl white. I'm not sure the exact name of this color in particular, but from what I was told, it's about a $1,000 option for this type of white. When you're looking at it up close and in the sunlight, it has this beautiful pearlescent shade to it. It looks great in my opinion. All right, guys, so starting off on the front end of this truck, it is awesome looking in my opinion. We have this beautiful chrome large front grille. I'm not a big fan of chrome, but on this truck, I think it looks good, especially with that white paint. We have that black Chevy bow tie in there, and we do have a front end camera because this truck does have 360 cameras when you are pulling forward and in reverse as well. Just below that, we have this kind of a lower lip area, which is finished in this flat black. We have another flat black kind of accent, which is not functional down here, this part of the grille and more chrome. Now going onto the lights on here, we have full LED lights, which I think look amazing. And they have beautiful running daylights as well, which go right through here. I like the little touch on there. On the side of the truck, just below here, we have this little uh, airflow design that they put in there that Chevy actually made functional. So this does go right through to the other side where the wheels are. How about that? Look at that, Chevy. Now, what powers this beautiful truck? It is a top tier model. So this one does feature the 6.2 liter V8, has about 420 horsepower with 460 pound-feet of torque. So definitely not an underpowered truck by any means with a top speed of about 124 miles an hour, just so you should know that. And of course it is mated to an automatic transmission. This truck also has a zero to 60 speed of about five and three quarters of a second. Uh, so it's a little bit faster than its base model uh, V8 that comes in this truck. Also, it sounds really good, which we'll get into uh, in a little bit. One thing to also know with the 6.2 liter is that it has a fuel rating of about 20 miles an hour in the city. That's gonna be about the same, um, about 23 miles an hour on the highway. It's the same for the 6.4 along with the 5.3 liter V8. All right, now coming down to the side of the car and going onto the wheels on the new Tahoe, I really like these wheels. These are the gloss black wheels. These are Bridgestone tires. And on the front and back, you're going to have the same tire size. These are 22 inch rims. These are gonna be 275 by 50s by 22s on the tires. Very big wheels. I know some people are kind of a little iffy on terms of having larger wheels on these trucks because when they hit a pothole, they tend to blow out the tire um, because they are such a large wheel and means for a thinner tire. So in my opinion, I like them. I like the way that they look but obviously you're going to sacrifice a little bit of that integrity in the tire having a larger rim. Coming down to the side of the truck on here, you're going to have a black Tahoe badge again, which is an added option on the darker features on here. And then above that, we're going to have a chrome side mirror on here as well. Also underneath that side view mirror on here, you're going to have a camera underneath and then you're going to have a light underneath for when it is nighttime, helping with a little bit of that ambient lighting when you're getting into the truck and approaching the truck. All right guys, so moving on to the rear end of the Tahoe, we have this beautiful back. I like the new design on the rear ends compared to the previous generation Tahoes and Suburbans. I like the new taillight design and I like everything that they've done back here. Taillight design is very nice. We have almost a smoked out kind of taillight look on here. Inside it does say Chevrolet and we do have LED lights in there as well. The center on here is finished in chrome with again that black Chevy bow tie and black accent writing on here for Tahoe. And then down here, we have your little Premier name and logo on there again, finished in black. Just above that, we have almost this little wing area up here with your third brake light up here. I like the look of it. And up tucked in here is going to be your rear windshield wiper. Again, I like the look of everything in here. It looks very nice. We have a flat black lower area with more chrome and we have quad tips on the exhaust back here, which I think looks really good. It makes the truck look really aggressive from the back. 
that makes it look like it has a little bit something more underneath the hood. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and let's listen to what the 6.2 liter sounds like in this Tahoe. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little exhaust clip. This thing sounds amazing, and in a day and age where everything is turning into EVs, and I'm glad to see that at least Chevy with these cars is still coming out with big old V8s in them, and at least not even downgrading into a V6. One thing to also note that on this back tailgate that the Premier does feature is that when you put your foot underneath here, there's a little sensor. It's been on other cars, but it's on this one as well, of course, because this one has every single option. So you just hover your foot right under here, there's a little sensor, and it will go ahead and open up the tailgate for you. just like that. Now, of course, this truck is a seven seater. It is a kind of mom car or family car at the end of the day. So what you do have in here is while right now everything is folded down, giving you this incredibly long interior space, you are able to fold up all of the seats in here and have yourself a seven seater. One really cool thing that this truck has, again, other cars have had it as well, but of course this one does feature automatic retractable and automatic attractable rear seats on here so these rear three seats automatically go down and up with the push of a button right here and the two captain's chairs in the middle back there go down automatically from the back here they do not go back up so let's go ahead and see what that is like we'll go ahead and hit the left one and that folds right up and what you can do is just simply fold this back up and on the right one same thing goes for this grab the headrest and fold it back up and now your rear three seats are back up. You still have a decent amount of room back here even with those three rear seats still up. But if you have those three folded down and the two captain chairs in the center up, say you're a family of four or something like that, you have an incredible amount of space still back here even though it is not the Suburban. There's still plenty of room back here for anything you may need. Just below that as well, we have this little handle. It comes right up here. We have a little bit more storage in here um, not too much. That's where you're going to have your tire iron and everything like that needed to change the tire. God forbid something were to happen with it. Also back here is all, everything is wrapped in carpet material. And then we have this plastic kind of going all the way around it as well. We do have a seatbelt right up here in the center and that's really it. Let's sit back here now in these beautiful captain chairs in the back of the Tahoe. I have to say first impressions getting in here, it smells really good. Everything looks and feels really good. And there's a ton of room back here. And I mean, there's a ton of room in these captain's chairs and these rear three seats. There's also an enormous amount of room. I'm six foot one and I have plenty of room right now, just like this. I don't have my seat retracted all the way back. And the passenger that would be behind me, looks like they would have plenty of room as well. Really nice touch on the inside space and the utilization of the space that Chevy did with their seats. Now, moving on with these seats, a couple of things to note back here. These seats are fully and they also have their own mode right in here as well for a heated seat. So these rear seats, these two back here are heated and then you have your own climate control back here as well uh, where you can control everything. You have two USB kind of C ports uh, and two HDMI ports back here as well. Now, what does the Premier come with? That's a really cool option. Right in front of me, we have two beautiful screens back here that look really nice. These are like iPad screens. They feel really nice. They look really great. They're integrated perfectly, I think, into the rear end of this truck. You're gonna have options on here, like your HDMI 1, HDMI 2. So whatever you plug into these ports down here will display directly on here. You wanna put your PlayStation here, your Xbox, go right ahead and it'll display right here onto these screens. A couple of other things to know on here, you do have things like Hulu, YouTube, and YouTube Kids on here too. And you can go ahead and add whatever else you wanna add onto here as well. You are able to control your screen brightness, and this does have Bluetooth headphone connectability on here too. If your rear seat passengers wanna to listen to whatever they wanna to listen to, they have the option to do that without disturbing anyone else inside of the truck. You also have an option on here for a power button as well, so you can go ahead and turn the screen on and off as you please, instead of it just sitting on the home screen and you want. When you wanna put it back on, just go ahead and click the screen a few times, and it will reactivate the screen. Nice little touch that Chevy did on the back end. Again, super responsive screen. I think it's a great thing um, if you have kids or anything like that. Definitely uh, one good way to keep them a little occupied on longer road trips in this truck. One thing to note though, 
I mentioned before about being able to retract the back seats and put them back up with the push of a button. When you put these rear captain seats down from the button back there, it's relatively aggressive. Let me show you what I mean. So we're gonna go ahead and put down that rear left seat right now. As you can see, it's a little bit of an aggressive fold down, but it still gets the job done. Let's go ahead now and let's move on to the upper portion and the main area where you as a driver are going to be sitting inside of the Chevy Tahoe because there's a lot of really nice tech and gadgets that are up there for anyone. No struggling to getting into the inside of this one. So starting off, as soon as you sit into the truck, you're greeted with a ton of technology and a ton of luxury. Uh, again, for the price tag of about $95,000, I'm gonna hope to expect that. And I'm glad that Chevy at least provided that with the interior of this truck. First thing to note as you're closing the door, you have wood grain finish accents all throughout the truck. You have large chrome handles and chrome accents throughout the truck as well, along with a ton, and I mean a ton of leather. Whole side of the doors are wrapped in leather. The seats obviously are full leather. The armrest in the center is leather. The steering wheel is leather. The dashboard, the glove box, everything. It's a really nice touch that they did into this truck. I really like it. I know it's not for everyone, but I really like it. So starting off on the steering wheel, you have a really cool little feature on here. So when you start the truck up, a little red bar and blue bar pop up right on here and green gives it a nice little touch on here. Um, also, it helps with heads up display as well. It flashes at you too. Nice little cool thing that they have this little LED bar right into the steering wheel. I like the look of that. The steering wheel is gonna have all of your standard controls on here too, like cruise control and everything like that. One thing to note though, on the 2023 models, they now come and have Super Cruise on them. So essentially the truck will fully drive itself and steer around and do everything that say a Tesla would do. It is now a feature in all of these Chevy Tahoes and Suburbans. They've added that feature into a couple other ones. So this Premier now has Super Cruise introduced into it, which again is a really nice feature. You obviously have push to start right here and you also have auto start on your key as well. Steering wheel again is just gonna have pretty basic controls on here and all of your basic four wheel drive controls are gonna be on the lower left hand side and anything else like that. Putting the truck on, you're going to have a full digital cluster on here telling you your miles per hour and your RPMs. Everything else can be controlled inside of here too, such as your navigation, your phone connectability, any kind of related information to the truck that you may need and that's really it. You do have this extremely beautiful integrated infotainment screen, which is not new to Chevy, but again, it looks really good in this truck right here on the center console. I like the look of it. It is very responsive. It shows you everything that you will need to know. No, it has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Google Assistant built into here as well. You're able to control everything from your climate control to your trailering and everything like that in here as well. This car also does feature Heated seats and cooled seats, really nice touch, especially on these hot summer days. And we do have dual zone climate control in here as well, along, like I mentioned before, with rear climate control as well. Coming up to the top of the truck, you do have a full panoramic roof in here as well, which I really like. You have full white LED lights in here too, and you are able to control the rear end seats from here too. So you have buttons up here, which allow you to down, and those rear three seats will fold down and fold up with the push of a button right up here. Really nice feature that they had on here, and I really like how they added that on here too. Your gear selectors are kind of like some other trucks, such as the Silverado and the older, you know, 2022s and stuff like that, 2021 Silverados and Tahoes. You have this kind of little cubby area also right here where you can store a couple of items for the passenger right in here. Nice little thing that they added. You know, is it really needed? No, but it's still pretty cool. This truck also does have a wireless car charging in it here as well. It is massive. It fits pretty much any phone that you may need, unlike my generation Colorado that I have now. Just in front of that, you have two center cup holders and you have this massive armrest with two more cup holders on the rear end and this large center area to put whatever you may want, such as your phone or any other kind of device you may have. In here is the center glove box, which is massive. It goes all the way down, and you're gonna have a couple of other ports in here as well for charging. As I mentioned before, this truck does have towing capability and a trailer mode inside of here. The 6.2 liter that this truck features is going to have a towing capacity of 7,700 pounds. And again, that's gonna be for the Premier model with the 6.2 liter. So pretty decent in my opinion. I don't do a lot of towing, so I'm not really too sure if that's good enough for most things, but 
in my opinion, I think that it would be. And again, if you're getting this truck, I don't know exactly how much towing you're gonna be doing. I figure most people that do towing is probably gonna get a pickup truck, but if you need it, it is at least an option in this truck. One thing to also note that this truck does have is it does have a heads up display with everything that you may need in it, which I really like. Now talking about some of the screens in here as well, like I had mentioned earlier on in the video, this truck does have a 360 camera, which is really nice. I like that feature in here and all the cameras look really crisp and the quality is definitely up there. Let's go ahead though and let's jump outside of the truck now and let's wrap up this video on the 2023 Chevy Tahoe. All right, guys, so that's going to end today's video. If you liked this video on the 2023 Chevy Tahoe, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I post next. If you would get this truck, comment down below why you would or why you wouldn't. I would like to see those different kind of answers and opinions. I look forward to seeing you guys all in the next one. Take care. Stay beautiful. See you in the next one.